how to create RAID codes in ElectroWeb. As it is usually the case in the ElectroWeb system, before we create the specific RAID code, we can also define the specific RAID code groups. This can be used in case we wish to collect several different RAID codes into higher group order, which can be very useful during the reporting. This field is not mandatory to be filled out, but if we decide to use it, then the RAID codes we create should be matched with the related group. Why is RAID code important? In the ElectroWeb system, agencies are taking the prices from the RAID code that is defined and connected to their agency card. If we want to create contract for the specific agency, this can be done only from the RAID code. First, we should define one RAID code which should then be selected under the related part inside the agency card. The procedure how to define pricing rules for one agency is as follows. First, we should create one agency card, then RAID code according to which this agency will work, and finally, select one of the three options on how this code will work. Now let's create one example rate code for our agency. First we should write the name of the code and then select the related group code if desired. Next we should enter the desired currency. In this way we are defining the valid currency for the prices that will be entered under this code. It is also possible to change this currency when creating a contract record. It is not a rule that solely this currency will be used. However, for the general definition the currency code can be selected. In the lower part of the screen, age limits for children guests is defined. It is automatically defined that guests up to 2 years are considered as babies, up to 6 as younger, or up to 12 as elder child. If there are different rules applicable in your hotel property, then these entries should be changed. It is important to define according to which prices will this price code work. We can select among three options displayed. If we select that the created price code should work according to hotel daily prices, then this code will use the prices defined under price and availability window. In case we want to connect this rate code to the specific contract, then we should select this option and use the below part of the rate code screen to create contract records. We will notice that this below field is activated when we select the contract as the pricing option. However, there is another faster option to be used for creating new contact records, and this is the Contract Wizard field. Please refer to our video library to see how to use Contract Wizard. Now, let's look at the contract pricing method and how to manually enter one contract. With the plus button, new contract detail card will be opened. First, we have to enter the code. This code will be useful when using the filtering option for the contract details list. It is not obligatory to be used, but it can really facilitate use and overview of different contracts we created in our property. Here I will define one summer code. Contract code is automatically displayed as the rate code. Next, we should select the desired rate, board and room type. If we fill out the related market and nationality fields, then these contract and prices will be valid only for these. Next, we should select the contract start and end date, or in other words, the accommodation period during the specific prices will be valid. If there is also the specific selling period for these reservations, these can be defined in the next calendar fields, or these could also be left blank. If we wish for the changes we made in this contract to be applicable to the reservations we already created under the desired agency and rate code, then we should click on Reprice All Reservations button. On the right part of the screen, we can start entering the prices for single, double, triple and quadruple rooms. If more than four people is allowed to stay in the room, in the extra bed part we may enter the price difference we take for each additional guest and bed in the related room. In lower part of the price screen, we define the prices for children. There are four different rows in this segment, implying different adult and children combinations. First row is the combination for one child in double room, second is for two or more children, third is for one child in the single, and the last one is for two or more children that are staying with one adult. These different combinations are available as the pricing policy for children may vary between hotels. While in some cases the property does not take any charge from the children who stay with two adults in double room, it may fully charge or take certain percentage when a child is staying with one adult in the room. Since in most of the cases there are no room charges for babies, 
this first price row can be left blank. When defining the children prices, these will be calculated based on age limits we entered while defining price codes. In other words, 0 to 2 are babies, 3 to 6 are younger children, 7 to 12 are elder children. If we assume with, that we do not take any charge from children if there is one child with two adults in one double room, and for younger child if there are two or more children in the room with two adults, we will leave the related fields blank. But if there is the policy that there is a certain charge for the second elder child in the double room, then we can write the amount we charge in this field. In case of the single room, we will fill out the same price that we take for elder children or with two or more children. These price definitions will be defined based on the hotel preferences. Currency field will be automatically defined based on general currency we defined in the rate code part, but it can be changed. System will take into account the currency that is entered here. If this contract is not valid or active anymore, we may click on Passive button. Moreover, to have agency commission calculated in the overall price, we should have the box next to commission included ticked. In this part, the date when the contract is created is displayed. In case there are two contracts that are valid for the same period from the calendar screen, we may select to which one to give the priority. We may use this field in case the entered contract record has to be confirmed by the management. If this contract is not confirmed, then the prices we defined here will not be displayed in the reservation card. In the next tab, the rules for application of this contract can be entered. If the prices are changed based on check-in or check-out days in a week, then we may use these fields, or minimum maximum number of visits, guests, stay, and other can be defined. Minimum maximum visits refer to repeat guests or whether there were previous stay of the related guests in this hotel and how many times. In minimum maximum guests field, we define for which number of guests will this price be valid. If we enter one or two in both fields, then the price will be valid only if there are one or two guests in the rooms. Minimum maximum stay refers to the minimal number of days that should be entered into this reservation card so that the related contract can be applied. On the fixed price field, we can set on what type of pricing should be done after the end of the contract. Let's assume we have reservations that started before the end of the contract period. If we select check-in option, system will continue to calculate the prices even after the end of the contract. If we select any other option, the system will not do the pricing after the end of the contract. With this information we entered, we may save the rate code details. Now by opening the agency card and selecting the rate code we created, we have set for it to use the prices that we defined in the previous step. In the previous example, we have created the prices for the desired date and for standard bed and breakfast and refundable rate type room. But in case we want to create another prices for the same date range but for another room type, we may use the clone button and create the exact same record as the first one. From here, we can quickly change the related room type field and enter new prices. In this way, we can easily create new contract records.